Let's uh, get some legal opinion on this. Joining us uh, via Zoom is private legal practitioner Martin Kwebu. Um, Counsel, a very good evening to you. Thank you for your time. Good evening, Nim. Right. Uh, first of, what do you make of the OSP's latest move? Uh, I beg your pardon. What are your initial thoughts on, on uh, you know, the advice given by the Attorney General, which clearly says that no evidence whatsoever um, has been adduced, especially by Professor Frimpong Boating, so the persons that have been named cannot be prosecuted? Well, Martin, apart from the matter of uh, Seth Mante, uh, John Ufuriata and Eko, Eko Ewuzi going on, the rest of the report represents a whitewashing of such blatant and flagrant destruction of our forest. The AG's opinion is whitewashing the situation. It's very nauseating. I mean, come on, I can't believe it that the AG would issue such an opinion. It's not good. Look, we have to get up and make all the noise we can to indicate to the Attorney General that this kind of legal opinion is not on, not in Ghana. No, 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 no. We can't allow that to stand. Look, Martin, let's go straight for the jugular. I didn't see any part of the report actually, or the AG's opinion, showing that proper investigations were conducted. What do I mean by that? Who went to the forest to ascertain the destruction that Professor from Pom Boatin talked about. None is shown in the opinion. Two, what inquiries were made from the Minerals Commission that based on the pictures of the destruction that from Pom Boatin showed, that was there any basis for the destruction? That is to say, was CNJ Alaska authorized to mine? As far as we are aware, I'm going with Professor from Pom Boatin, they were not authorized to mine. Yet this opinion doesn't talk about investigations from the Minerals Commission. Yeah, that's very key because in Ghanaian law, you cannot mine without a mining lease. No, no, even salt. Look, common salt, the Adar Songo and other places, even salt. Salt is a mineral. If you are going to mine salt, you need a mining uh, this lease, right? Uh -huh. So the thing is that Let's just stick to the facts. The incontrovertible facts from Frumpon Watin's report were that Gabi Ochredako, cousin to the president, called him Frumpon Watin to prevail upon him not to disturb, so to speak, CNJ Alaska because, according to Gabi, his client, that company, had all the requisite licenses and permits, right? Yet Frumpon Watin says no. From where he sits, there were none. Of course, you know, EPA was under from Pom Boatin. So even if Minerals Commission from Pom Boatin couldn't speak with authority or Minerals Commission, at least I expect that with EPA, he could speak with authority. So for me, it shows that from Pom Boatin said they didn't have any licenses to mine. And so that's the one I'll go with. So if the police want to show that from Pom Boatin, the police and attorney general want to show that from Pom Boatin was wrong, they should have done the necessary checks from the Minerals Commission and incorporated that in their opinion. So to the extent that the opinion is silent on that side, I take it as a whitewashing of the situation. And indeed, that is the most uh, serious part because it's the destruction of the forest. From Pom Boatin says, CNJ Alaska polluted the Offin River Offin by operating in the Upper Prema and then um, Kobro Forest. All right, so that is the crux of the matter, and Gabi doesn't deny that he called from Pom Boatin because look, Martin, I remember clearly that when this matter came up at the time, Gabi granted an interview where he confirmed that he spoke to from Pom Boatin, but it wasn't to influence him. Right. I'm not talking about the influence side, I'm talking about the issue of CNJ Alaska mm. going into the forest. So, from the conversation. Nobody would deny that CNJ Alaska went into the forest. So once that one is incontrovertible, the next thing is that you check the paperwork. Did they have authorization to mine, specifically to mine? Because the distraction we saw was distraction caused by mining. That's illegal okay. mining in this case. And, and, and uh, Mr. Kwebu, just uh, to play the devil's advocate here, clearly it was... Um, uh, 
the, the, it, would, you be, would it be your opinion then that maybe the Attorney General did not clearly understand these concerns that were raised by the professor or misdiagnosed what the professor had put out and was looking at just the individuals involved rather than the evidence in terms of the things these individuals are said to have committed or been involved in? Well, Martin, I don't have a crystal ball, so it's difficult to tell. Well, if it's a mistake, that's why I said we should all get up and make as much noise as we can to tell the AG that his opinion is incomplete. If it's a mistake, why not? Fine, we all make mistakes. So if it comes out to say, okay, he's saying that his, his opinion doesn't cover these matters, he wants the CID to go back and do it. Sure, we will applaud him for it. Let's not make a mistake. We all make mistakes. So if somebody makes a mistake and he's quick to accept it, why not? Because Martin, let me mention this. You know, as we speak now, about a year ago, we reported Chairman to me to the CID for going into the town on Nimiri Forest without a license, where even the Minister for Lands and Forestry, Abu Jinapo, said it. He himself said it that look, uh, Chairman Wuntumi's company had no business entering uh, town on Nimiri Forest. The point I'm making is that till date, the CID said they are investigating it. It's almost a year. So I don't understand how come uh, from Paul Barton's uh, case came just a few months ago and CID, the same CID, they say they finished. And then they and they, they, based on that, the AG is whitewashing uh, this and the, 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 from Paul Barton report. No, we can't. We reported Chairman with me, myself, engineer Ken Ashigbe, Kwame Sapone Siedu, and Adam Senanu, the anti-corruption crusader. We reported Chairman Wuntumi about a year ago and his company, and the CID are still investigating painstakingly. So I'm aware in that investigation, they have to go to, to the Tatno Nimiri Forest. Right. They have to go and take pictures, everything painstakingly. Mm. So this AG opinion, no, 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 it's not on. We'll throw it out. We'll All throw right. it out. We have to go back and do a new one. 